Hey guys, it's Adrian over BHA here. So I promised you that I would do a follow-up video on this Mose Wi-Fi switch module. Uh, so basically I was going to attempt to get it loaded with custom Tasmoda firmware using 2U Convert. I don't know if it's going to work, but we're going to check it out anyway. So let's do a quick run through of everything we're going to cover in this video. For starters, we'll have to remove the switch from the 2U app because we can't have it added to that as well as have Tesmoda firmware loaded on the switch itself. Once we do that, then of course we're going to attempt to flash it with uh, to you convert. Uh, if all goes well, then of course we will be configuring Tasmoda, and then we'll even get it added into Home Assistant. And then lastly, I'll show you what that looks like in action. So let's get started. So like I said, for starters, we need to remove the switch from our uh, Tuya Smart app because we can't have it added that way and using Tasmoda. So that's what we're going to do here. Basically, you just select the switch at the top, kind of hold it down, and then you have the uh, option to remove device down there at the bottom. Once you do that, you're ready to move on to the next step. So just to give you an idea, this is the sound that it makes when it's in pairing mode, or easy config mode, I think is what they call it. So it's a pretty decent uh, beeping sound, but once it's doing that, you know it's ready uh, to be flashed with Tasmoda, or at least attempted to flash with Tasmoda. So of course, uh, we'll be using uh, our Raspberry Pi, move into uh, the Tuya convert directory, and then we'll do a start flash. Basically, follow through the steps, terminate anything that we have to. It's kind of strange when it comes to 2 convert. Sometimes I get uh, asked to terminate DNS mask and some of the other ones like Mosquito, and then other times it just goes straight through without any problems. Of course, once it gets uh, the AP ready, then of course you need to add your phone or other device uh, to the uh, vtrust-flash. And of course, I'll speed this along here. As you can actually see, it didn't make it, so it didn't work. And of course, I'm not gonna show it here, but I tried it quite a few times, probably more than I really needed to. Because honestly, if I would've checked the logs, I would've seen this right here, which basically states that this is basically not an ESP 82XX device. So probably if I would've opened the device up before I put it in my wall, I probably would've already known that. Unfortunately, I didn't. So this was kind of a fail on my part. For the time being, I'm just gonna have to use it uh, with the Tuya app, and of course, use that Tuya integration to uh, control it with Home Assistant. It's not my favorite, but hopefully in the future, this device will be able to be flashed with uh, Tasmoda custom firmware. In the meantime, at least everybody knows now, you can't flash it with Tasmoda currently. Um, so if you're planning on buying these, just understand you'll continue to use the Tuya Smart app uh, in order for these to work. So that's pretty much the end of this video. I just wanted to do a quick follow-up to show you. Uh, I was hoping, of course, that we would get it flashed with Tasmoda and everything would work, but it didn't. Uh, so it was kind of a fail. Uh, nonetheless, if you're okay with the uh, Tuya Smart app, and using that uh, to control your devices. I still think it's a great deal. So we'll do a quick run through of everything we covered in this video. Um, so obviously we didn't do as many steps as we originally started. We removed the device from the 2U Smart app and then we attempted to flash it with uh, 2U Convert. It of course failed, so that was the end. Uh, basically I ended up having to add it back to 2U Smart app for uh, me to have control of that switch. As always, I wanted to thank everybody that has donated to my Buy Me A Coffee link. Every little bit helps. Uh, if you haven't had a chance to uh, check out my Teespring merchandise page, jump over there and uh, you can pick up some Burns Home Automation uh, merchandise. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. As always, if there are any videos out there that you would like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well. And I'll see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around.